Hi everyone, welcome to the meetup. So today we have with us Sam Yuan, uh, who is an active member of Performance and Scale Working Group and uh, Board of Technical Working Group China. He has been you know, actively presenting on various topics on blockchain space, including telemetry support and you know, pluggable uh, crypto service. Today, he'll be doing a deep dive session on Performance Sandbox, you know, which is part of Hyperledger Labs. I'm very excited to you know, learn from it and you know, uh, understand it more better. So uh, without further ado, over to you, Sam. Okay, thank you, Vikram. And uh, yeah, so as you said, we are, what today's session, the community session. So I put anti cost policy here. And as you guys can see, my camera, I wear, you know, fabric, have later five years a t shirt here to attend. So let's start. Okay. So for today's session, uh, I'm Sam Yuan from IBM, uh, as a developer in IBM. But uh, for today, I come here on behalf of two working groups in a pleasure to bring you guys and also together with you guys start a journey for blockchain operability with our new labs project, uh, Performance sand Sandbox as a deep dive session today. Uh, this project is announced at March of this year. And personally, I hope uh, it can has uh, forced the zero, uh, one zero zero release as for the version at the end of this year. And uh, I prepared a QR code here uh, for my personal GitHub and for this project. And let's move on. So here's to, to this agenda as uh, you know steps for our journey. So we will have two hubs uh, at first session. As first part, we will start with some background as performance and scale working group white paper published years ago and some uh, you know, concept with mounting and operability as some background and modeling. Second, from that, we, we, we are going to see the targets for performance sandbox uh, project and then go moving on to uh, design, implementation, current achievements and ongoing some discussions there. Uh, then we'll have uh, some minutes as time breaks. The second part will be the hands-on session. And uh, I'm going to use uh, performance sandbox with uh, you know, uh, fabric with uh, uh, basic Alice Bob asset transfer chain code to start with with an uh, online workshop there with you guys. Uh, after that, we will be QA sessions for all today's session. Okay, so move on. Uh, the first part of the web paper. So you can see the links. I put the links uh, at the bottom of this size and the QR code, if I'm correct, mapping to this PDF version. And, uh, you know, in this web paper, uh, in years ago, performance and uh, a scale working group, uh, they define a model for blockchain performance test. Okay, so from this picture as appeared at the set here, we can see there are five nodes uh, with a star as network connection. The nodes uh, in color purple or blue represent for a blockchain network. And the, this area called system under test. So block being generated consensus and confirmed among the nodes and the tra traffic's uh, business transactions inside the block happens there. And, and at the left side of this picture, this model, there's some test tools, test harmonies. Uh, there are two parts of it. So first is the load, uh, load generating client. As performance test, in fact, just uh, use some um, parameter and keep sending uh, transactions to the system, no matter blockchain or others, right? So in this case, uh, the load generation client is just uh, keeping sending the traffic to the system under test there and an observer client, one or many, 
address the mounting and operating the system under test to see what's happening among the system under test. We, uh, and in the white paper, we defined some metrics with two kind of operator, uh, read and write, or say read and transaction, and the two metrics are uh, latency and the throughput, okay? So adopt with uh, Fabric uh, workflow uh, with four steps, and uh, let's say the, the read operator and the transaction operators, right? So uh, in the white paper, the read transaction, in fact, uh, if we say Alice Bob, uh, asset transfer means Alice query she's account web client application in that case in this case so we don't need to uh, create a new block among the system we just need to know at least current account amounts there so a new block is not necessary to be generated but uh, consider for transaction or right right operator as Alice going to transfer with Bob for some coins or assets there. So we, we obviously need a, a block recording this transaction and this block and the transaction being confirmed among the network there, right? So adopt with Fabric, okay? So there are four steps for this uh, transaction workflow. So first is clients uh, send the request uh, to peer for endorsement, that's four steps. And second is the client waiting for peer response for as a result for this endorsement. And the third step is the client send to peer or orders uh, for waiting for order service generating block. So this is the third step. The final step is that the order service send the block to the peer, peer uh, validate and confirm the blocks and send the some notification back to client. So there are four steps uh, in short for a fabric transaction workflow. And we can say for read kind of operator, you know, we just need two, uh, four, uh, you know, first two steps uh, as a query operator in hyperledger fabric. We don't need a, a block being generated. And for transaction or write operator, obviously we need to waiting for the block being generated and confirmed at you know numbers of peers and the notification back to the client itself. And we have to you know other two uh, we define the metrics with latency as the as the time diff uh, or say duration between start and stop. And also the throughput means during a period of time, how many operators being compete uh, among the network, okay? So moving on, uh, let's talk about something about mounting uh, operability and maybe nowadays mounting. So, you know, long before today, uh, as you know, we have AI, blockchain, cloud native, and uh, this many, many diff, diff, uh, complex uh, service uh, nowadays. Uh, before that, long before that, we, we already have mounting system and it works as uh, so, somehow in this way, maybe a count drop uh, running with a top script uh, to mounting the virtual machine or some specific uh, hardware instance there uh, for CPU usage or workload uh, on that instance. And if for some peak happens or say over a special value, the, sh the shell script will auto trigger a mail system, a mail alert to the you know operator team's mailbox and the mail sent to some guys on duty he or she will, you know, come on and to check what's happening. So that's, uh, you know, the metrics and the traditional way we do the mounting, maybe just the CPU uh, memory usage or furthermore for specific application as the database metrics, uh, Java, you know, GVM metrics, et cetera. 
And the, you know, us nowadays, we have microservice, we have distributed to the system as blockchain. So uh, we have a concept as observability, which based on the matrix uh, adding more as uh, distributed tracing and the log collection among the you know systems and uh, I would say containers uh, to collect data from different point of view just for data collection and those data collection provide us different kind of views uh, make our more focus uh, make and less easier uh, to you know to do the you know, nowadays marketing at, uh, you know, at a human insight level, for example, chart ops, AI ops, run books. So that's kind of things together, uh, you know, based on the observability, providing the data collection by the different of views, right? So Take a sample with uh, uh, you know distributed tracing. How distributed tracing make our uh, works easier with, uh, for example, with Jaeger and uh, and other things. But for now, uh, just to show you guys uh, with, with this picture, which I get from this book, mastering distributed tracing, and we will have uh, the the you know transaction workflow model here. So when we do the performance testing, uh, targeting on a distributed system as blockchain, right? So we're doing distributed concurrency because uh, many transactions happened uh, at the same time uh, as this picture show, showing. So fo follow the you know, uh, workflow chart there. So we start from a client a uh, single client application send the one transaction as the right uh, angle and the lines here. So then we're going to, as uh, a second step, the transaction move to peer components for endorsement and further moving to other service to generate the block and back to the peer transaction, a uh, peer for validation, right? Uh, do you know? In all these steps, how many components we need to check uh, with, you know, as a distributed system, right? So, as I said, we can have a single uh, client application as uh, as our load generation client, right? And obviously, we hope we have two peers as to, you know, play roles as two different organizations to validate this or say endorsement to these single transactions, right? So we, we ideally has uh, two peer, uh, you know, containers or components there. And the, uh, for older peer file means a draft cluster uh, with number of files. Then we move back to those two peers to check the validation and confirm face logic, right? So, in this case, we, we at least we have eight components logs to choose if this specific transaction is very, you know, uh, latency is very large, take a lot of time. So we need to check the time, uh, you know, the logs to see what's happening, right? When we need to do that, we need to go through eight components log to trace and assumption, or say considering uh, we are not in your production or say in our real life cases, this is a, you know, assumption and uh, uh, experimental environment, right? So your network scope or size of node or size of uh, system under test scale up and upper and upper. So you will have more and more components to trace, okay? So, okay, so we take some minutes to go through some, you know, background model and some um, things. So let's say our targets. So for us, okay, so when we talk about our targets, first we found, uh, you know, basically as consider 
Kubernetes is a popular infrastructure <coughs> for today's groups. Okay, the last one. So we try to build this sandbox project focusing on performance related things for blockchain. So we build these things based on Kubernetes for first because, uh, you know, with two reasons. So first, thanks to the Fabric Samples team, they bring us a sample as a test network Kubernetes and the operability related tools as Jaeger, for example, and the Prometheus, uh, Grafana, et cetera, they has, or they has operator supported at Kubernetes. So we can easily deploy uh, and integrate all the you know deploy system or say uh, mounting system or visibility system etc all in one in Kubernetes then we can upgrade from traditional mounting to operability to collection more data and help us to you know with metrics as I said distributed tracing and the log collection with all the those kind of data being collected for you know for at human insights okay uh you know the people who use this to uh, this labs project to do mounting things uh, at mounting area you know providing data to support them to do some decision do some analysis etc etc so that's our targets. So yeah, so for us meaning, so convert to our targets. So we do a sample in the Kubernetes area here and supporting for people at human insights here as you know, I just do a uh, highlight in human insight, uh, insight area, for example, for run books. So you can base on the metrics to develop your run books as for example uh, some chart ops so you need uh, AI ops are always really driven development you will need uh, when you do things in this kind of area you, you will need a low you can use sandbox as a, your local uh, development environment and uh, to support you development your own script uh, as alert setting, something like that uh, uh, for at your local laptop. Okay, so for this help you do things with operator run book at human insights. And the second uh, is about some bottleneck analysis, uh, for example, metrics and the distributed tracing. There are two uh area or our, our ways of it so first is uh for example uh, as we all know blockchain is uh, there some crypto load operators when you they do the blockchain right so it's a highly cpu workload so we can add uh, have uh, cpu usage at one side and with the latency our throughput metrics at other side. So in that case, we will have uh, have an overview uh, to e easily integrate different metrics together to see what's happening. If some hardware I/O or CPU usage, memory usage uh, will influence our system performance. Our and um, and the second point of view is for specific. Uh, transaction so we can use distributed tracing to see, to figure out if we has a long you know uh, a long latency transaction we can see different time usage so which is the most important which duration which phase cost a lot of time most of time so we can figure out uh, and focus on that phase to do the enhancement right so yeah so yeah so our major and the targets is about uh on things at kubernetes area to provide the user uh for this lab project uh yeah, so to do the things at the 
mounting phases and the analysis. Okay. So moving on next, we are going to see our design implementation and achievements. So first is some design and flexible consideration for this product. So back to the, the things here. So first you can bring your own Kubernetes because we use uh, Kubernetes as an infrastructure, we uh, personally I tried CAND and also we have a CI with Minikub, but uh, recently it seems not stable. Uh, we used operator kind of technology and Kubernetes to deploy our components at Kubernetes so that uh, you can, you know, by the Kubernetes certification of inter options, you can easily migrate from CAN to your Kubernetes network cluster, uh, things like that. And also you can uh, migrate from your pre-production to production. So something like this uh, being considered, you can bring your own Kubernetes with us uh, and adopt with this project. And also you can bring your own, you know, some image, for example, from research point of view, if you change uh, some code for the blockchain uh, network components. So you need to deploy once and second to see what's difference. So you can bring your own image there together with your Kubernetes, right? And second, you can define your own uh, system under test scope so if you want to change your size of uh, network, you can bring with you on system under test as the size of uh, you know, uh, system under test can be uh, scale up or scale down. So by your, just by your own control. Uh, for this point, we are st uh, starting investigation uh, together with labs project as uh, uh, fabric operator to you know to make it more flexible and easy use okay and second you can bring your own chain code so if you go to see the uh, project uh, CSCD at uh, github you will find a sample uh, with uh, EC, uh, ERC or ECR721 uh, contracts there, which the NFT contract running uh, at the system under test and doing some performance related things. So you can, you can, or, you know, in a simple way, just bring your own chain code there to do the testing. Okay. And for the achievement, we can, uh, you know, we pub, I personally publish some uh, research and some things related to those four metrics at GitHub. And uh, for now, uh, I just uh, take latency here for sample. Uh, we can see in the middle of this, this uh, current slides, there are two charts that I'm going to uh, bring, go, go with detail for these two charts in the middle. And at the right side, we use tape and uh, this uh, the QR code, uh, if I'm correct, point to the uh, project homepage. And here the, we can see the project workflow there. It is strictly following the uh, fabric workflow. So start from uh, a transaction with random value and then send for peers for endorsement and then send to order for waiting for order, uh, you know, generate block, uh, send to peers after the peer validate and confirmed, uh, then send back to the uh, observer client or, or at tape itself. And then you, from the Jaeger or distributed tracing, we can see the first step and the second step are point out there. So let's zoom out the distributed tracing with you know this uh, transaction workflow there. And uh, I take the at the very beginning we have a distributed con concurrency map there, picture there. I take this picture again. So first uh, we can see the clients 
start the transition, we have a label as transition start and uh, then send to the peers with same proposals and here waiting for a uh, peer back to, you know, endorsement results. Uh, some endorsement phases up here. And then we can see the ordering uh, process as ordering doing consensus takes some time there. And then back to the peer again for the you know, transaction uh, validation and confirm phases. And then we move to, you know, here is uh, uh, our uh, matrix for latency. So from tape there, uh, this is just the, at the beginning of uh, uh, performance test. So we can see the, the latency is keep increase. Uh, the latency, in fact, just uh, you know, some go long duration numbers uh, from a duration to numbers. And we can see some different kind of color of lines represent for read latency and uh, translation latency from uh, have percent and ninety percent and ninety nine percent of those latency. Okay, so we complete for our first half, and we are going to uh, start with uh, our hands on after maybe uh, five minutes. So during that time, uh, I'm going to switch to this size uh, here. Uh, if you want to join us, you can use. You know, prepare your own your Linux VM environment with Git, CAN, Docker, and Kubernetes. And I personally suggest you check uh, check with, with QR code here uh, as the image list to pre-download the image uh, to your local desk. Uh, uh, because when we start up the system, it will. Uh, go try to find out the image and starting the download. Uh, somehow it takes a lot of time because it's just a, depends on your own network, right? So let me check the charts. Uh, Uh, seems that we don't have questions in chat room, right? Once, uh, uh, blockchain learner. Uh, okay. So, okay. Uh, let's start our five minutes time break and see you guys later. For the break. Okay, thanks for the recording. And here we're back from the time break. So before I, I close the you know 
uh, says sharing. So I'm going to, in short, to you know have a short in, introduce to you about what's happening at following hands up session. So first, we will start uh, Kubernetes based on the can, and second, uh, we will start uh, operator or uh, operators based on those operator technologies start operability system as metrics and distributed tracing. Then third step, we will start a fabric network. Uh, currently, we just uh, uh, do some modification based on test network Kubernetes. So we will start a same uh, network uh, system under test with, uh, you know, same with uh, test network Kubernetes, then we are going to use tape to uh, you know, send the traffic uh, to the system and their tests and uh, check the metrics on you know, UI for Grafana and uh, uh, Jaeger for distributed tracing. Uh, okay, so stop the sharing. Uh, I suppose you can see my screen with VS Code, right? Yes, we can. Okay, so here... Hello, Sam, sorry to interrupt you. There is some questions in chat box. Can you please uh, reply? Uh, okay, so... You know, my plan, original plan is just... Uh, have the QA session at the end of the uh, hands-on because give some time for people download the image, okay? So just do some. So how the metrics diff and uh, what's consistent makes them? Uh, uh, okay, so, so first, uh, this project, uh, you know, is not, uh, project focus on consensus mechanisms, okay? And it uh, obviously used for shell, Kubernetes, et cetera, commands to help you integration tools together uh, to do the research from UI there. So it's not focus on the consensus mechanisms or algorithms at this level, so it's not that, uh, you know, it's not that, you know, it's at top level focus on the blockchain system and the metrics will just reuse the blockchain system provided. For example, uh, in coming hands up demo, I will show you uh, some uh, dashboard based on fabric metrics, which provided by fabric itself. So yeah, so that's the answer for some, for this one. Uh, number, when the numbers of nodes increase, graph uh, shows the proof various latency. Uh, well, uh, for this question, so it depends on two things. One is about uh, the latency at, uh, you know, for a specific transaction concerning a uh, numbers of node being confirmed as the transaction. This is the first thing. Uh, and second understanding is traditionally, uh, we say with the number of node increase, uh, how it will inf infect uh, the system. So what was the question on that? Admin, who is admin? Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you ask a question for no, a number of nodes where where is the latency? So, uh, you mean the confirmation latency, or say just the normal, general speaking for latency? 
when the blocks increase when the no uh, okay so i'm going to i have to say there are two some different kinds of definition for this question so first i suggest you take a look in that uh, white paper there's some description about it and uh, you just can find it at uh, the, some metrics different that show that so i i don't quite get your question so why are you asking this kind of question so so okay so i'm going to move on and uh, to show you something uh to Jaeger and uh, grafana so yeah first i do some clear up and start the infrastructure as i'm starting a kubernetes where canned with a local registry so this is the four steps well let's say let's say some latency related question with yager later Okay, the so cluster being started. And uh, okay, we have a note there. So, yeah, no fault found. And then we're going to load the image. So, to load the image, you'd better to provide a, a hard code file as image list and put the list image list I prepare in the QR code in, uh, uh, which I showed uh, in the time break, just a copy paste all the image here, making a uh, can to load the image from your local uh, Docker environment to can itself to save, uh, to save the time, okay? So,
So it takes some time to logging. Let's see. So from network. Uh, uh network through boot network size. So you know they're different. Uh, you know the network size and the shell hood are two different of things, right? So you mean network size or shell hood? Some uh, through hood, okay. So the, in fact, the network says you want to it fixed, fixed and you just want to know the, uh, with the numbers of, you know, required to say com, uh, confirm for specific transaction increase, how the transaction output increase, right? Okay, so just wait some minutes. So currently, I you know we don't. Uh, baseline is a problem with baseline, so that's different kind of things. Okay. So currently, you know. Just uh, this project is just at our uh, beta phase with some uh, infrastructure build and not fully support to extend all the things as you you, you guys questioned in the chat room here for adjust the network size in automation. So I have uh, some discussion with fabric maintainer and the fabric uh, operator maintainer. So the next step, we are going to do some investigation and integration. After that, the network size can be uh, adjusted in a flexible and easy way. So far, uh, we just use a uh, hard code network to do the uh, development for this project, okay? So for first here, uh, I'm starting the Jaeger uh, for this with tracing and uh, oh wait, I should start from this first. Okay, uh, there's some error. 
Sure. Are. So uh, let me a second. I need to do some reports. I'm going to reboot because uh, I, I make a mistake here. So, uh, yeah, wrong second, wait a minute. I'm going to restart this. <sighs> My fault. Uh, we come. Yes. Yeah, you know, as I focus on the chart and answer the question with a uh, you know wrong step of the scripts, so I'm just uh, re clean up and uh, rerun the scripts. So I'm going to ignore the question in the chart room. The chart room. Uh, in follow up to complete the workshop and demo first. So could you please help uh, recording some, you know, help with some general question QA and uh, uh, some, help recording some QA questions later. Uh, so I will answer after I complete the demo. Okay, so you mean you know, uh, you, uh, you want me to record all the questions so that you know, we can end towards the we can answer towards the end? Yeah, I want to answer all the questions at the end because sure uh, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Well, when I do the parallel and uh, make a mistake, and you can see from the screen now, I have sure, to sure, definitely. I'll do that. I'll record all the questions and I'll share. Okay, thank you. So here we go to restart the can. Hope it works. Then second, top of the image.
Okay, loading. Arab fiber tools. Uh, oh, surface builder, basic assets. So to start with, we will have to, you know, clone your performance sandbox in Hyperledger Labs, right? From GitHub. Uh -huh. To start with, you know, we, we have to clone your, you know, performance sandbox uh, from GitHub, right? Yeah. Okay. So you need to get the code from GitHub and be careful as some, you know, some modules there. So you need uh, also check out the sub module as uh, Prometheus operator, okay? Okay. Yeah, so some image loading <coughs> takes time. So what kind of a cluster do we need? Like how much, you know, compute is required for this cluster? Uh, currently use uh, Kubernetes in Docker as canned there. So my personal MacBook just support it. And uh, for, you know, Kubernetes, you, you can bring your own device and uh, things. And uh, I can show you guys with uh, CI running uh, here. So here uh, as a GitHub action. So, you know, it's able to run with GitHub action for all the steps and follow up for running it. So I suppose it's not so heavy with current network scope as basically uh, a basic two organization network and uh, you know just uh, easily with operator and some performance test for uh, for about 500 transaction a center okay Um, okay, so these all steps are, you know, listed in uh, performance sandbox in the runs, is it? Uh, pardon? So this is these steps, you know, uh, to set up, you know, just for, you know, in the meanwhile, while, you know, the uh, network comes up, everything comes up. So we wanted to check it. Okay, uh, great. I think, you know, we have made progress. Okay. Yeah. It 
uh, what I'm do is just the uh, same uh, or say similar ways as uh, the basic CIV step here. You can also check the steps from the CSR. So uh, currently I'm just, this, you know, uh, imperiously my wrong is skipped this way and start with Jaeger. So there's some error there because uh, it will, in this uh, phase will build up a namespace for marking and put all the operability things at Prometheus and Jaeger all in that a special namespace so that's my fault to add first round which i'm going to yeah redo the case here So after, after this, uh, from here, we can see it's going to start uh, our deploy, uh, you know, uh, Prometheus, Grafana, and the Jaeger with Jaeger all in one sample there. So it will start a uh, observability uh, of based namespace with, you know, uh, metrics this way and the uh, uh, distributed tracing here. Yeah. Uh, let's do that. Okay. So then uh, start to forward some pods so that you can have uh, Then here we have, after the pod forwarding, we have Grafana and uh, uh, Jaeger at UI here. So what's next? I'm going to, from the dashboard folder, uh, import some dashboard to Grafana. So here, dashboard import with JSON. For common one, for older one. For here, yeah. and uh, one more for tape. Okay, we have some uh, yeah, we have some dashboard imported, and we have the uh, Jaeger ready waiting for some service being sent here as an application. Uh, then we're going to move. We're moving next to yeah to deploy the fabric. Let's start. Uh, hope it works well. Uh, it uh, will seem as uh, we, we just complete with these steps. So we're moving next to build up a fabric network from say there and uh, do some enrollments, et cetera, to create a MSP uh, for uh, here for orders, for peers, et cetera. It, uh, it's a long script to, yeah, to, uh, here. I suppose here is already the channel base. Uh, wait a minute. So 
So yeah, here we creating for orders at my local. And the, yeah, and here for some peers code DB is there uh, for orders. For peers. And the waiting for ready. So the next step is uh, to create this channel. After the channel created, uh, we will deploy some chain code and uh, start the test. So yeah, if I'm correct, yeah, we can see some uh, you know, from here, we already have some metrics in live as fabric version for peers already for uh, with the post name here. We don't have block because they don't create channel yet. Right. Anything? Yeah, so far notes. And uh, here we complete this fabric network. So we can see the fabric network running here uh, with order for three nodes, with peer, with coach DB, with peer. Uh, appear from another organization. And here we go for channel. Okay, we can see some channel being created. So yeah, so we can see here at the dashboard, we see, uh, you know, some channel, channel box, uh, something being appeared. Uh, this is the order, yeah, so the consensus e, uh, ETCD information being coming up here and a common dashboard. Yeah, we start to have this channel and the uh, block height at the first block for channel. Yeah, some JRPC stream duration connections happening. Yeah, looks good. And let's move on to deploy one single chain code for sample. Okay, chain code being deployed and do a single query. A single invoke for to create a basic asset as Tom and uh, to query one. Okay, so uh, back to the dashboard. So we can see. Yeah, they refresh it so we can see the chain, the new block being created. So, yeah, you can see some peers and others have the new block and some not. Yeah, everything looks good. And uh, here, um, yeah, we can see some later transactions and uh, some difference. Chain code execution created. Uh, endorsement phases, uh, chain code, uh, code DB time, etc. So next we'll go to uh, 
start tape for uh, 500 transaction testing. And here we go, start the tape and we can. Yeah, we can say from here, we check the logs. Yeah, okay. All the transactions being success, uh, are completed in three seconds with TPS there. So we are going to moving, moving here with Jaeger. And uh, yeah, here we have tape and they go to see, okay. It's not uh, fully ready in, in the, in the Jaeger rat. So let's see. Oh, it's very getting slowly. <laughs> Come on, it's getting slowly. Oh, it's getting slowly. Yeah, for example, uh, this we try to figure out all the all the transactions and uh, we take uh, maybe longest words and search one. Yeah. So currently we just in here just uh, come watching for a single peer node. So if you want to mount in two or more you can add in the peers at here or at here. So here you is the answer to the question related with the uh, uh, increase of, uh, you know, latency increase by the peer or the commit peer uh, through who's there. So with new added at here, you will see a new peer uh, labels span here to see the different of the times. Uh, the Grafana takes a long, takes some time. So let's back to the, let's switch to here. So matrix uh, latency. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, and uh, and also the latency star you can also try to from here to see the difference. Uh, or you can try the throughput. Okay. You can try the throughput from you know some high high rate there because here we listed uh, some peers so you can just set three of five peers for example to see the uh, speed and the rate there as the latency or throughput. Okay. So let's see questions. Any other? In terms of questions, you know, there was only one question that was, you know, put up afterwards that, you know, you mentioned blockchain work is a function of transaction throughput and network size. So, uh, you know, there was, you know, any test metrics, you know, to baseline this? Yeah, I think you can, for example, reference to here, you just check the, you know, uh ledger uh blockchain high high rate some match let's say is because here uh let's see if i'm yeah it's very yeah when you run run it it uh, take a lot some effort to profana to loading those metrics at my local so 
uh, how to zoom out this picture, I'm not sure. So, you know, when you try to consider the things with committed nodes, you can say here we have the lines uh, represent for blockchain high rate for each node. So you just uh, maybe at this time duration, you have a star and a stop here to monitor how many nodes being be confirmed and committed and uh, duration by 10 something like that. So, so far we just has the basic capability or the ability to just display all the fabric metrics at the dashboard there, okay? You can, based on that, to calculate yourself. Uh, one more question has came up. The repo you have shared. Or, uh, no, uh, so there are no more questions here. So the, uh, if anyone has any questions, please feel free. You know, the, now is the time to ask. Okay. What is the green area? In green? Yeah. Some nodes may be uh, older or here. It just depends. You can see uh, each line represent for each component in fabric. So you because currently it's just a screenshot, I, I don't know which uh, particular node or Docker pod it represents of, okay. Yeah, and uh, here I can show guys a sample with uh, uh, tape here. So for example, if you test with two peers, uh, your latency will look like this. So for example, of, of this query error, we can say if we query with single peer, it uh, take, starts from here and seems end up here. But if we do the endorsement for a peer number of two, it take about more minutes as some um, network duration, et cetera. So, just all depends. So you need to, currently we don't provide uh, all-in-one solutions. So you need based on the uh, either distributed tracing or uh, metrics in Grafana to the calculation yourself. And we will come you uh, contribute back uh, for your metrics, okay. Okay, uh, great, awesome. Uh, so I love the session today. Uh, if anyone else has any questions. Okay, so uh, looks like, you know, we are all good. So shall I stop the recording? Yeah, I suppose if everyone is good, we can stop the recording and uh, if no further question, uh, hope everyone enjoy weekend and we can continue.